working on a place to go. 1,023 pounds of meat. Try not to stub his toe. Hello and welcome back. Today I'm doing, I'm down um, in an area known as Farndale. Uh, this is quite, um, amongst walkers, quite a well-known uh, trekking area. They have what's called the Daffodil Walk, which is the early part of the year. The, the first couple of miles of the walk, I believe, is just covered in daffodils. Uh, they've, they'll have gone now, but we're down to bluebells and uh, wild garlic, apparently. I was just speaking to the lady who runs the, the pub down here, and she was explaining that to me. Um, the walk I'm going to do is about three and a half miles starting here in this little village called uh, Low Mill and it should take me if I was walking at normal speed about two hours but because I'm filming it'll probably take me nearer four or maybe even five because of the the onboard bulk that I carry um, so I, I'm looking forward to this it was a little bit unexpected I woke up this morning and decided to do it so here I am it's I'm glad I have because I've got a real good vibe about it I can see the moors up on the hill over there this is a really nice village. It's very quiet, uh, mainly because the main road coming in is blocked off. And it's been explained to me that the reason it's blocked off is because there's a, a small pothole being dug. She said that the locals just ignore it and drive right through. But I've, I actually did a diversion, stuck with it. But so there's not very many people here, which is, means I'm going to have quite a pleasant walk, I think. Lots of turnstiles to negotiate, a bit of climbing, lots of uphill, I think. So I'm expecting to get fit. So let's go. In the tradition of being me, I haven't really planned this. So I always film with the sun behind me, which from a cinematography point of view is a terrible idea. But uh, it says here, footpath only, please keep to the path, no bikes or horses. I don't have neither a bike nor a horse. So I'll stick to what I've got to go on. Look at this little gateway down here to this little cottage down here. Ignore that, <laughs> that thing. Why is the sun always behind me? Starting to see a few bluebells, although they're wilting a little bit, which makes you think it's nearly time to go bye-bye bluebells. Or are they just coming out? I can't tell really. But yeah, as I say, it looks like they're disappearing. Okay, so Slightly pulling away from the river now. And another gate. I've been through maybe three of these now. Uh, no, that's probably about five actually. The river's kind of slightly further down on the left, which leaves me on this open pasture. And this is sort of the selling point of this walk, known as the Daffodil Walk. I don't know if you can see, but the hilltop ahead is Moorland. Um, it's quiet today, but the reason they call it the Daffodil Walk is Many thousands of people will come here beginning of the year when the daffodils are out. And of course, they've all gone now because we are now in late May. Still, I think you'll agree, not disappointing. Either side is hilltops. You know, I've lived in, I've lived in the UK for decades. I won't tell you exactly how many years. I had no idea these little trails 
existed uh, that we could take. I'm going extremely slowly because this is doesn't show up on camera when you're on a steep incline, but it, I am. And I know that I'm being overly cautious, but I am. That's the producer in me. I can't see the point of being less cautious because you're always planning for the worst thing that could happen in that sort of little risk assessment I did there. And the worst thing that could happen is that I break my ankle or something. And if I break my ankle, it's going to be extremely difficult getting help because I've been out here for half an hour now and I haven't seen a sausage. It's not a sausage. Good Lord. I think every now and then you, you have to stop because you can walk past little vistas like this easily and it ends up the only thing you see is that your view for your entire walk is three meters in front of you the floor when all around you is outstanding beauty I was just chatting to those two folks making their, their way off in the distance because they saw me standing here looking at this. Now I was going to tell you, you lot, that that was a nest. Well, I was going to suggest it was a nest. I was going to caveat it by saying I'm no expert and I don't know anything. But it actually turns out that during the floods season, the water's come up so high here that it comes up to like this level here and this is just bric-a-brac bits of garbage that I've got caught in the tree with the flow of the water so nothing to see here but uh, they're telling me that um, that uh, I've got some sights ahead of me that means you have two. has curiously turned to cobbles and just over another little bridge which is crossing the little trickle going into the Dove River oh and through here we have houses now I think this is my turning point now is it there or is it further down I think it's down there so we'll follow these cobbles and see what lies ahead The, the woman that I was just speaking to uh, from that, of that couple said, I told her I was going to like do the full circuit. And she said, oh, I don't like going into the fields. And I thought, ha ha, because these well, these well laden paths, manicured pathways, it's not really my thing. I like getting into the fields a little bit and going off the beaten track uh, and getting in touch, getting in touch a little bit more with countryside now who would stick a house here how fabulous these little sandstone houses nestled down by the river and that must be the pub of the lady I spoke to before I set off the, the Feversham Arms I feel like I'm stepping back in time Right, before
before I go any further, I need to check my little book of the North York Moors outstanding circular walks. And it says here, after one and a half miles, pass between the buildings of the former High Mill, I think that's them, and continue along the track beyond for a further quarter of a mile to the tiny settlement of church houses. Keep right to pass the Feversham Arms and then bear right again just beyond signed to Hutton Le Hole and Gillamour. That's where I'm going. Now on a very, oh, it's a very broken road, I guess, lane, bridleway maybe. But it's very pretty here. I'm in the middle of a valley, and I know just over there is Rosedale, the other side of that moorland up there. Uh, but I think I've got a bit of climbing ahead, so I'm enjoying this flat land while I can. But the thing that's not bugging me, but I'm conscious of, is I was under trees quite a lot back there, and now I'm getting out into the sunshine. The sun is nearly above my head, and it's, uh, I'm feeling it a little bit. It's hot. I am uh, wearing suntan lotion though, so I don't want you worrying about me. <coughs> uh, the local wildlife there offering itself up to me as food. I enjoyed that fly. So I go down here until I get to this, I think it said church buildings, didn't it? Hope I haven't gone too far or taken the wrong turning, but I'll stick with it for now. I particularly like these that beehive looking bins. It's just a bin made up to look like a beehive so it fits in with the countryside. That tells you a little bit about the people who live in these areas. I mean that field it's just grass. I guess it's for straw and hay and whatnot over there as well. It's not crops, but you know, in fact, the whole side of that hill over there, it's just grassland, pasture. But hay has to come from somewhere, right? It has to come from somewhere. Maybe it all comes from here. Maybe it all comes from here. I know where hay comes from. I am a countryside expert. I think I need to stop and check. <sighs> doesn't, doesn't feel right. They don't look like church buildings there. Hmm. Car coming. Right, well, here's the pub. And here's the sign I'm looking for. Hutton Le They're just speaking to the pub landlady there. She was saying that, uh, it's a nice little pub. And she was saying that this way is a bit more road. 
but I've got a sneaky suspicion she's not aware of the footpath. But look at that, look at that, look at that cool. It's built into the building. Lots of stuff like that. If you want to come and have a little holiday here, some very pretty cottages you can stay in. Very nice. Whole area is just knockout. I hope I'm not going to be on the tarmac road, as the uh, landlady just told me. So I think I need to just pause down here and check the old uh, Wookie Wookie.